to see what's up. Uh, trying to come back here every week, but it uh, doesn't always happen. But uh, yeah, this is a good weekend, and uh, got some more finds. These are more online finds and uh, that kind of thing. Uh, some great deals I got, as usual. Um, next video, I'll try to do uh, the stuff I found with Steve and Andre and that kind of thing. But uh, this week, just some online stuff I need to, to get through here. What we're listening to, I showed it last week. When Farmer Met Grice on Prestige, just as a OJC. You can hear it. Beautiful. Nice pop. Dig it. Horse Silver, Percy Heath, Kenny Clark. So first, I want to show you guys this massive beauty. I've been wanting this for a long time. Uh, you can't even download this album. I'm sure you can, you know, find it online, but... This is Wayne Shorter's Imanin. Imanin. Um, it's a three LP. I'll kind of show these. So there's a green, purple, and you got an orange one here. Uh, this one is a Live in London. And then you have a, uh, with the Orpheus Chamber Orchestra. And then this first one, I think, is uh, also the Orpheus Chamber Orchestra. So uh, one, one live and two uh, orchestra. And then you got this really cool book that it comes with. It's like a, just some nice pictures, some CDs, uh, almost like some illustrations and stuff like that. So very, very cool. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, but it did win a Grammy Award for Best Jazz Album, like, 2017 or 2018? I think 2018. 2018, yeah. So, uh, very, very cool. I was excited to get that one. Um, got a great deal on it on eBay. Just submitted an offer. Those go for 150 bucks. I think I got it for 70 or something like that. So, very, very cool. Um, this one... I try to find buy anything that's on the uh, Lost Dutchman label that doesn't always work out. Or F Flying Dutchman. I'm thinking of like Pirates of the Caribbean over here or something. Uh, Flying Dutchman. So this is Leon Thomas. Spirits Unknown. <laughs> or Spirits Known and Unknown. I'm sorry. There's that. Flying Dutchman, the second uh, label, not the white one. Uh, kind of like this one more, but... Uh, so this is New Vocal Frontiers. This is um, some crazy stuff on here, man. Uh, he even talks about... I think it's Malcolm's Gone. Or no. Oh, first song on the side two. Damn, Nam, ain't going to Vietnam. So he's just pretty much singing about political uh, issues. Not going to Vietnam. Uh, helping his brothers out, that kind of thing. Um, it's a trip. Definitely some avant-garde free jazz, but then you get the vocals from Leon Thomas mixed in. Um, I'll probably try to pick up some more Leon Thomas. I know they're not all, from what I was reading, they're not all um, desirable, but uh, I really enjoyed this one, produced by Bob Thiel, um, known for his works with Dutchmen and stuff like that. Next one we got folk singer Dave Van Ronk. Uh, the title of this one is Just Van Ronk. He's a trip, man. His voice and everything. Um, I really dig it. Uh, I think this is like his fourth or fifth album or something like that. It's on Polydor. Um, just great folky. Um, nice guitar in the background. Um, he's just got a strange voice. And some of the songs sound like normal songs. And then other ones sound like, um, like spoken word almost. That he's that kind of feel... Um, but then he gets real growly sometimes. I mean, I really like Dave Van Ronk. Uh, I got some VCLT from Bill at the Vinyl Verse, and it kind of got me into it a little bit. Um, and I've seen Andrew Tales from the Crate show him as well. So, very, very cool. Pick that up. I think I got that for like five bucks or something at, uh, up in Denton. Um, got this one online. Um, just saw a cheap auction, and I didn't pay more than ten bucks for this. And yeah, Bobby Hutcherson. Components the late 70s White B um, yeah it's a nice little album here Freddie Hubbard James Spaulding Herbie Hancock on a piano Ron Carter on bass and Joe Chambers so very very nice lineup 
Um, just a really nice album. Um, Bobby Hutcherson, I don't want to say he's underrated, but I mean, he really is a you know, hell of a player. And he gets some good people on his albums with him. Um, you know, he plays the, I thought he played a different instrument besides just the vibe. He plays the marimba on this one. So, um, have a, you know, anytime you get vibes and stuff like that, it can, uh, you know, whatever. But anyway, uh, next we got Dizzy Gillespie. Swing Low, Sweet Cadillac. First, I think it's a mono. Nope, stereo, live. Uh, first stereo pressing on Impulse. Uh, I seen Andrew Tales from the Crate show this as uh, kind of one of his favorites. Uh, I think he said one of his favorite albums. Um, I think he credited this one of the first ones. Uh, got him, you know, jazz albums he heard or something like. I think that's right, Andrew. I'm not sure. I don't even know if you watch anymore, but um, it's a nice little album of uh, Dizzy doing his little thing. Um, trying to see who's on this one with them. Uh, you got Mike Longo, James Moody, Candy Finch, and Frank Schifano. Which is funny because one of the head union guys from my company is named Frank Schifano. So I don't think it's the same guy. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, nice little album on Impulse. Not my favorite from Dizzy, but uh, very, very nice. Next one, one I wanted for a long time. Tony Bennett, Bill Evans on Fantasy. Um, I've been wanting this since I watched the Bill Evans doc documentary. Um, they took, kind of went into detail on this a little bit. Uh, Tony Bennett kind of had some nice words to say about Bill Evans, what a you know master he was, and uh, I've just been wanting this ever since. Um, very nice music with Tony singing. Um, it's just a really really enjoyable record. So check that out. Not not very expensive either. Next one was uh it was a big one for me. Um, just one I've been wanting for a long time. Uh, almost a historical um, record, I guess you could say. Uh, this is Miles Davis' first album on LP that he ever did. This is The Musings of Miles. Now, most of this stuff was actually recorded before, um, but uh, this is the first mono. With, uh, 446 West 50th Street, uh, New York labels. Um, just one I've been really wanting for a long time. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful record. Miles Davis, Red Garland, Oscar Pettiford, and Philly Joe Jones on the drums. Um, I mean, it's, it's a historical record. I mean, first Miles LP that he ever did. You know, before that, it was just on the 10-inch format. So, uh, very, very nice to have that and uh, check it out if uh, you haven't heard it. Very, very good record. All right, next, uh, moving along. Um, you know, I've mentioned this before, I'm trying to complete my horse silver um, collection, I guess you could say, discography, which is hard because there's a lot, but he's my favorite jazz pianist, so um, I kind of credit him for getting me into jazz to begin with, so I don't know if it's a mission or what it is, but just something I really want to try to do. Uh, one I did not have, uh, got a great deal on it, horse silver quintet, doing the thing. At the Village Van Gate, sorry, almost at Vanguard. Mono pressing, uh, New York, USA labels. Just a nice session with him at the Village Gate. Blue Mitchell on trumpet, Junior Cook, Horace Silver, Gene Taylor, and uh, Roy Brooks on the drums. You know, it's not gonna wow you, but it's. I think it's just a nice um, live session. But you know, those musician musicians, musicians, um, play doing the thing. Um, Filthy McNasty from the Horace Silver, which I always crack up when I hear that song title, but uh, just another classic album from Horace, and nice to add to the uh, discography. Next one, uh, I got this on eBay. Um, actually, I think it was somebody in Dallas that was selling this, uh, but I've uh, been wanting that one for a while as well. Solo Monk, Melonious Monk. Nice two-eye pressing there. Uh, nice mono pressing, actually. Um, and it's just a great record of him, obviously solo, um, just playing the piano, kind of like Keith Jarrett does, I guess you could say. Um, I'm a big fan of piano. Uh, 
piano jazz, piano on anything. So just the solo piano, I really dig it. I know it's not for everybody, just like organ jazz isn't for everybody, but um, I really, really like um, piano jazz, and this was nice to pick that up. So check it out. Yeah. Uh, what do we got next? Um, Stan Levy, great drummer. It's on Bethlehem. Oh, nice uh, early mono pressing here. Um, Bethlehem's just a label that's very underrated. You can find some gems on there. Art Blakey was on there for a while. Uh, but this record, uh, Dexter Gordon, Stan Levy, uh, Frank Rossellino, Lee Vinegar, um, Ken Doley. Never heard that name before, but just a lovely, lovely record. Stan Levy, um, trying to think his uh, best album can't think of the name right now but it'll come to me but uh, yeah just more great stuff from him it's called this time the drums on me so it was just a couple bucks for that one I think I can't remember where I got this um, but, uh, I just see flying Dutchman and I pick it up even though this one's okay sunny stit stomp off let's go there's the other Flying Dutchman label I was telling you about, the more noticeable one, I guess you could say, the earlier one. Um, this is an okay album for me. This is from 1976, promo copy as well. Um, just okay for me. Uh, Sonny Stitt, obviously, his earlier stuff is better for me, I like Blowing the Blues, um, some of his earlier works like that. But uh, it's still a nice album. I mean, it's not going to wow you, but... This was very cool. Um, I didn't have any records from this guy. James Blood Ulmer. Freelancing. Actually, I have not listened to this one yet, so I can't even comment on it, but um, it was kind of a blind buy. Most original guitarist since Jimi Hendrix, Robert Palmer said, I'm from Rolling Stone, you won't ever hear music the same way. So, uh, James Blood Ulmer is a hydraulic pumper from George Clinton, so just read the front little hype sticker which that's supposed to make you do and I had to buy it um, yeah trying to you know get more miles as well and so this one came up we want miles uh, 1982 nice gatefold obviously a later miles and also the uh, year of my birth on Columbia uh, let's see here who plays with them. Recorded live in Boston in 1981. Um, so let's say who plays with them here. That's kind of weird. Two, oh, Marcus Miller. Oh, Bill Evans plays on this. But I don't think it's the uh, same Bill Evans. Mike Stern, Al Foster, and uh, Mike Sinaloo. So not too many musicians I'm familiar with. I did just watch that documentary on him. Um, and it was good. Um, I really enjoyed it. And they talked about his later albums, you know, once he kind of took the time off. Um, he came back and he started recording again. I think this might have been one of his last albums for Columbia before he went to, uh, did he go to Warner Brothers? Can't remember. I think he went to Warner Brothers. All right, next, J.J. Johnson. I think this is volume two. Yeah. Volume 2, just a great recording session. I mean, Hank Mobley, Horace Silver, Clifford Brown, who I'm always trying to get more of. Uh, he didn't have a lot of albums as a leader, but he played on a lot of people's albums. Um, and I'm trying to get a lot of them because, you know, he died really young. So, um, Kenny Clark also on this. This is the 70s pressing, late 70s, mid 70s. Um, just a nice album, bop, you know, in the pocket. Um, very, very nice. Eminent J. Johnson. A little trombone jazz. Uh, also, I watched the Tom Petty discog discography, the one on Amazon Prime, which was like four hours long or something like that. I've been trying to pick up uh, as many Tom Petty albums as I can, and I didn't have this one. Southern Accents. It's just another nice album from Tom. I should have used this for... Uh, the vinyl 
tag this year as you know consistent or batting average because Tom always made good albums. Um, Don't come around here no more. Southern accents, great song. Uh, Make it better. Forget about me. I mean, classic Tom. <laughs> love it, love it. You'll be seeing more Tom in the future because I bought quite a few lately. And this is one um, I've been talking about before that you know it's nice to hold out for the OGs, but I you know these OGs are getting really expensive on this one. And maybe I'll get lucky one day and find one, but I just had to get the album. I love this cover. Hank Mobley, No Room for Squares. It's the mid to late 70s. Got this for a nice deal on eBay, near mint vinyl. Love that cover. One of my favorite Blue Note covers. Uh, we got, listen to this lineup right here. Lee Morgan, Donald Byrd, Andrew Hill, Herbie Hancock, Butch Warren, Philly Joe Jones, and John Orr. I mean, and this album delivers. It's definitely a top 10 Blue Note for me. Just nice to have this on vinyl now I'd only listened to it streaming before and yeah very very nice right, we got a couple more here uh, this one also on got on eBay as you can tell I'm a huge eBay shopper because I work and I'm always on the computer um, but uh, one I don't usually see this is John Coltrane the believer first stereo pressing the black firework label there um, just a solid album from him. The whole first side is just one track, The Believer, and it's just, you know, a killer, killer track. Um, this is his first great, uh, oh no, it's got Donald Byrd, Freddie Hubbard, Red Garland, Paul Chambers, Louis Hayes, and Art Taylor. Uh, Freddie Hubbard and Art Taylor only play on one track on side two, but just a nice, nice album. Always trying to get more train, and this, the price was right on this, and very very nice to have it as you can see it's pretty much immaculate too so next I've had this in my want list for a while somebody showed this and I can't remember who um, but it's a nice cheap maybe it was a cheap heat from El Bicho Feo but I can't remember I think it was actually the John Handy Quintet New View on Columbia uh, just a really terrific album, actually. Produced by John Hammond. Um, a lot of you know from his uh, solo albums, but uh, new John with Bobby Hutcherson on this, so he's playing the vibes on this as well. Um, I'm trying to see who else plays on this. Doesn't really say, but uh, yeah, if you're looking for a nice cheap jazz album, with, uh, you know, some good tunes on, this is it. Mr. Handy. He didn't. He only has a couple albums that I would, you know, recommend. But all right, next. Like I said, trying to get as many Miles albums as I can. Um, they're getting up there in price. Feliz de Kilimanjaro. Feliz. Feliz de, de Kilimanjaro. First uh, stereo pressing there. On the two eye. Um, another terrific album from him. Um, with the second. Quartet with Wayne Shorter and, uh, yep, Wayne Shorter, Herbie Hancock, Ron Carter, Tony Williams. Chick Corea plays a track on here as well. Just another great one from uh, Mr. Davis. And the last one, I won't go into too big a detail, but picked up uh, Talking Heads. One of the last ones I didn't have. This is Remain in Light. You guys all know the Talking Heads. Don't let me go into too much detail on them, but yeah, just a nice, uh, nice one from them. I'm trying to think what the uh, hit off was. The Great Curve the hit off this? I can't remember. Let me know in the comments if you guys remember. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Done. All right. So hope you guys have a great week. Hope you had a great weekend. Uh, I'll be watching your guys' videos and uh, hope all is well. And take care.